okay? I want to spend time with the kids. Hi, I'm T.L. White, and you're watching Time with the Kids. We're going to go out and see the chickens today, but I kind of wanted to update those of you that watched my mouse trap fix. Let you know if I got the mouse. Let me put my grubby shoes on so I'll be ready. So, did I get the mouse? Well, as a matter of fact, when I went out that, that morning, guess what I saw? I did not get the mouse. The little bugger got every bit of that peanut butter out of there. <laughs> you saw how sensitive it was. I could not believe my eye. So, what do you think I did? Well, <laughs> I shut the trap again, of course. And... I slathered it up this time. I put some on the top, and I put some on the bottom, and I, I even put some on that, that wood platform, and I put it back in the same place. And what do you think I got the next morning? <laughs> I got the mouse. I got the mouse. Well, not only that, I set another trap the same night. And what do you think? I got its little friend, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> having fun with you, but I couldn't just tell you I got the mouse. <laughs> that was fun. I don't mean to be callous either, but you know, those mice, they accumulate quickly. They go get their friends and they have babies. Oh, that reminds me of a story that my son told me a couple of years ago. We're going to the coop now. He said he was here by the chicken coop, walking by in the dark, and he heard a noise. So he shined his flashlight into the chicken coop. Oh, these dogs are gonna knock me over. Uh, into the chicken coop, and he said he saw mice everywhere, climbing up the walls, on the ground, on the ceiling. He said it was a horror story. I said, what? Like 10 mice? And he said, no, hundreds. <laughs> well, I'm a very visual person. So a <laughs> hundred mice crawling over the chicken coop is not something I want to walk into at any time. So, the problem, which we kind of already knew, is that the mice were able to get into the container that we had the chicken feed in. So, of course, after that, we went in there and we uh, first got rid of the container and replaced it with something that they couldn't get into and got rid of all the mice with traps and poison and knocking their little holes closed. And uh, it seems that the mouse problem is corrected. Here's the container we have now. It uh, is just a garbage can, really. We feed pellets. They have protein. Chickens need protein in order to make eggs. But, well, look at here. This is chicken wire. Can you imagine mice all over climbing? 
up on the ceiling. My husband's replaced the roof since then. And down and on the ground. A horror story. <laughs> so I'm glad that it's fixed. Where are my chickens? Let me look. Oh, they're all out. We have, uh, we have free range chickens, which means that we let them out during the day so that they can um, eat bugs and pick around and scratch just like chickens do. Uh, oh, also, I said we lived in a rural area, and that just means that we don't live close together. If you look around, I do have neighbors, but they're not like neighbors in the city where they're five or ten feet away. You can chat over the wall. Uh, I could wave to my neighbors. It'd be a far wave, <laughs> but um, I kind of like it that way. We like living out here. I lived out here for 30 years. So, um, let's go see if we have an egg. Uh, we see the water here. My husband rigged up this water system this year to keep the water from freezing, and it seems to be working. This is full of water. This big barrel is full of water. And of course, we can give them a container. But if you look closely, you can see that there's a light below the big barrel and that uh, is on a timer so it heats up uh, the water and keeps it from freezing at least so far uh, the temperature of the water now is 44.7 so that's above freezing that's what we want okay oh I have oh look I have an egg these are laying beds. They like to um, be in a high place. Of course, I've got one down there, so I guess it depends on the chicken. But look at this big, beautiful brown egg. Isn't it awesome? Um, which brings the age-old question that I'm going to ask you to see if you uh, have the right answer, or at least what the right answer is for me. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, if you answered the chicken, you are absolutely correct. Because this egg cannot produce a chicken unless it's fertilized. God made animals and humans in pairs, male and female. In order for this egg to produce a chicken, it needs to be fertilized by a rooster. And there you have it. The chicken came first. This is our time for today. Thank you. I'm sorry if I scared you with my weirdness, but I like to have fun. You'll find that out about me. I want you to have a wonderful day, like I say. Goodbye. Subscribe and a thumbs up if you want to watch more. Hope to see you again.